Hello everyone, welcome back. I wanted to share my uh, shooting results for today. Uh, I was shooting 200 yards and I was using my uh, Radical AR-15 and I have mounted on this the Holosun 503G. So let me tell you my shooting results and then we'll talk about the detail. Um, so I've got two groups here. Stand this up rather. So I got, this is at 200 yards uh, using that red dot scope. I've got one five inch group up here okay and i've got another five inch group down here um so basically i do have a nice four inch uh actually it's a three and a half inch cluster over here so i got i got two holes uh, two bolts touching there and then these two that's basically three and a half inches and then i got one that came all the way down here so between the furthest two points uh it's five inches okay so basically i've got two five inch groups at 200 yards um, using that red dot um, so uh, let's talk a little bit about the details uh, first of all I was using the green tips okay um, and uh, initially it started off as a very frustrating day I could not hit anything I mean this is actually a paper I was trying to shoot earlier at 200 yards and I, I could not I couldn't get anything on the paper uh, I did not know where the bullets were going um, when I sighted in that red dot, that red dot, I, um, I sighted in at uh, 100 yards. Now this has the ACCS reticle. Okay, for those of you that are not aware, the ACCS reticle looks like this. This is a red dot where you've got basically uh, this horseshoe circle, okay, and then you've got a chevron and then three dots underneath it. Um, so basically, at close distance, you know, you use the whole circle. You know, basically the whole thing functions as a giant red dot. Uh, you just put this on your target at close distance, and you're able to, to, to you know, to do quick target acquisition. At longer range, okay, what you do with this is you you uh, zero in that point at 100 yards. Okay, so the top here is at 100 yards. The bottom two legs are at 200 yards, uh, and then that's 300 yards, 400 yards, and 500 yards. Okay, now they don't give you numbers or anything next to this because if you were to use, let's say, uh, an AK-47. Uh, then, the, then the meaning of these different points changes. If you use nine millimeter, again, the, the the meaning of these numbers change. So they give you a chart to work with depending on what caliber you're using at, uh, what, what caliber you're using. Um, so uh, I, when I shot this at 100 yards, um, um, I think I hit. I was using Perfecta. I did a video, a prior video on this. I managed to get an inch and a half inch group at 100 yards with this rifle. It was, I think, about two inches, maybe an inch to two inches high at the 100 yards uh, because I had that little blue paper in the center here uh, that you guys will see in my other videos. So, I mean, it was shooting a little bit high. I didn't think much of it today, you know, and that was with the 55 grain. So today, because I was shooting the, the green tip, um, I said, you know what, um, you know, the, the green tip is going to probably drop a bit more. So at 200 yards, what I was trying to do is I was trying to put the... The, the, this this uh, the tip of the chevron at the top of the paper and I was you know basically I was figuring that it was going to drop and I, I could not get anything on the paper and, and finally I got frustrated um, and what I did so what I did is I went and I, I whipped out a large box like this and I threw this basically on top of my backstop you know I just co basically covered my backstop um, and, uh, and I did the same thing. I basically, I, I uh, anchored that chevron to the top of the paper like I had been doing, okay? And I saw that, okay, this, I was going high. Um, so that's when I realized, okay, uh, you know, that's the issue. I've, uh, I, I, you know, I was expecting too much of a drop uh, with this 62 grain. So what I did, uh, you know, I, I shot that group. And then what I did is in the next group, I actually what I did is I, I anchored to the bottom of the paper. So I put the, the, the chevron right there. You know, the arrow was right there. Uh, and that's when I got this 5-inch group over here. So I've got one 5-inch group over there and one 5-inch group over here. Um, if you notice, this is a little bit off to the left. I did not adjust my, uh, my red dot. Um, you know, when I shot that group, at that point, you know, I had gotten a little bit frustrated because I, I basically I couldn't hit that other target. Uh, so I was probably a little bit sloppier. So when I shot this group, I was just a little bit more conscious with my trigger squeeze. You know, and what I want to see when I squeeze the trigger is that that chevron 
you know, when a gun goes bang, I want it to maybe lift up a little bit and come right back down to the center. I don't want it jumping to the left or to the right. Um, so when I when I shot this again, I was very conscious about making sure that chevron, you know, did not jump to the left or the right, and basically it came right back, you know, towards the center, um, as opposed to being off to the left a little bit here. Um, so that's you know, I'm very happy with this. Uh, this is my again, this is probably my best grouping. Um, with a red dot uh, at 200 yards. I mean, I've done better, but I've, I've used a magnification scope. Uh, this is a red dot. Um, the uh, let's talk a little bit about this ACCS reticle. You know, it is hard to see um, when you look at this paper. Everything looks nice and crisp. You see a nice crisp thing. Um, and yes, it will look like that if your eyes are perfect. Uh, you know, my 47 year old eyes are not perfect. So to me. You know, like these three dots over here, they kind of, you know, it looks like they kind of look a little squiggly. Um, you know, and, you know, sometimes I have a little bit of problem focusing on that tip over there, you know, compared to, let's say, a 2MOA red dot. Because it's like, you know, the, the, that tip over there is like maybe, a, a, you know, it's not even a 1MOA. It's like, you know, basically a, a, a fraction of an MOA. You know, it's like maybe a quarter MOA. Um, so, but, but, but the reality is I did shoot better. Um, when I tried shooting with a, uh, with a 2 MOA red dot, I think a couple of weeks ago, um, you know, I think I got a, a nine inch group. I posted a video, I used the Palmetto, for, you know, for that, for that uh, grouping at 200 yards. So that was a nine inch grouping. So here I've, I've dropped down to, a, uh, to, to basically consistent five inch groups. Um, you know, as you guys can see here, I have, I have consistent five inch groups. Uh, so as, as hard, as hard as it might be to work with this type of a reticle, um, you know, as hard as it might be, it, it, you know, the facts are that it seems to give me a better grouping. Uh, now, I did just order two more um, um, red dots from, from Howlson. Um, I'm, I'm basically I'm phasing out some of my adder balls, and I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm using the uh, the um, the, uh, the Howlsons because uh, I've had such a great experience with Howlson, and. Uh, um, I was considering getting, you know, more of these, the the ones with the ACCS reticle. I decided to go with the solar powered uh, four, uh, the four O three Cs because I think that that you know you know having that solar power ability, the ability to run out solar power, you know, especially in a shit hit fan type of situation, I think that's a major advantage. Um, and because I'm still kind of torn with you know how much I like this. Versus a just you know a regular MOA, you know, a regular two MOA. You know, I said, you know what, let me get the two Hollow Suns right now because it's uh, we're approaching the holidays and um, Optics Planet is running. You know, they're doing discounts and stuff that they do every year around this time of year. Um, so I decided to go with the with the with the uh, Hollow Sun solar powered red dots. But at some point, I'm pretty sure I'm going to come back to to this one. I mean, I think they charge two two fifteen right now. Um, if you catch it with a discount, you know, you can probably get it for about $200, but it's a great red dot. It's not solar powered, uh, but it, but it's, it's, I really do like it. Um, and, uh, you know, those are my thoughts on that. So, uh, that's today's, uh, shooting. And like I said, it, it, it took me all day to get to that. Not because I was repetitive, you know, basically I could not get on the paper. Now, mind you, I'm, you know, when I say all day, I'm talking about like maybe three or four hours, you know, I'm spending a lot of time going back and forth, back and forth, you know, because it's 200 yards one way, 200 yards the other way. This is not actually the area that I'm shooting in. This is more of a setup area that I just set this up so I can take this video. Um, I was actually shooting, you know, off to the side over here, deeper in the woods. Um, so, so, so basically I'm going back and forth through, you know, through some pretty thick woods. So it's, it does take a long time to go 200 yards one way 200 yards the other way to you know to uh you know to do this but it's it's a lot of fun uh in the end i was very happy what i got five inches at 200 yards uh you know again i'm very happy if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up share it um and uh you know if, if not a member of my of my channel subscribe and uh you know this this radical i mean uh, you know a lot of people they down talk the radical, uh, but you know it, it's 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 been shooting very well. I I did a prior video on this. I did have some problems with this rifle um, because I bought it back in 2016, and that was the year that you know that there was there, the, you know basically that was the year that Hillary was going to win, and you know that was going to be the end of our gun rights. Uh, so that year they were they were basically rushing things into production. But Radical has been great with uh, supplying me with you know parts and advice. Uh, you know, for free, for, you know, in order to, 
um, you know, to, to, to get make this a very good, reliable rifle. So I'm very happy with this Radical rifle, and I'm very happy with Howlsome. So I'll talk to you guys next time.